Right now at 10, America still waiting on results in the presidential race. A number of key states are still counting. NBC News projections show Joe Biden running ahead of President Trump, only 17 electoral votes away from the 270 needed to claim the White House. As President Trump slips behind Joe Biden, the Trump campaign is now going to court. It is now suing to stop the count of votes in Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Georgia. And they say they want a recount here in Wisconsin. Wisconsin flipped from Trump to Biden early this morning when the absentee results from Milwaukee, Green Bay, and Kenosha were all added in. The final margin, Joe Biden 50%, President Trump 49%, a nearly identical margin by which Trump won the state in 2016. The razor thin results come after a record turnout in Wisconsin. Charles Benson leads our team coverage tonight, showing us how Biden was able to flip Wisconsin blue. Election Day 2020 for Wisconsin in the history books with a record number of voters. Look at this 3.2 million voters in 2020. That's 200,000 more than we saw in 2016. How did Joe Biden do it? Well, take a look at the counties that he won. He picks up 14 counties in Wisconsin. That's two more than Hillary Clinton won in 2016. For President Trump, he carries 58 out of 72 counties, but the margin of difference right now, 20,000 votes. I'm not here to declare that we've won, but I am here to report when the count is finished, we believe we will be the winners. With all the votes counted, we have won Wisconsin by 20,000 votes, virtually the same margin that President Trump won that state four years ago. So let's take a closer look at what happened in southeast Wisconsin when we look at some of the big counties for Joe Biden. Let's start with Dane County. He picks up 180,000 more votes in Milwaukee County. He picks up another 182,000 votes. Let's go to the wow counties. We're talking Waukesha, Ozaki, Washington counties, big numbers for Donald Trump, but he underperforms in those three counties compared to 2016. President Trump now wants a recount. His campaign says, quote, despite ridiculous public polling used as a voter suppression tactic, Wisconsin has been a razor thin race as we always knew that it would be. There have been reports of irregularities in several Wisconsin counties, which raise serious doubts about the validity of the results. The president is well within the threshold to request a recount and we will immediately do so. So it was in 2016, President Trump won by less than 1% and fewer than 23,000 votes and no recount. In 2020 right now, it is Joe Biden who is leading by less than 1% and fewer than 21,000 votes with the potential for a recount. Charles Benson, TMJ4 News.